Hello, folks. Welcome to this episode of the Average Joe Florida. We are, well, we were headed to Universal Studios today to go check out the new Universal Studios store, which just opened, as well as check out the Legacy Universal Studios store, which was the old Universal Studios store in CityWalk. Uh, unfortunately, we left the house a little late, so when we got over there, it's at capacity and we can't get in. So much for that. So we figured we'll go kill an hour or two and uh, go back and try again. And if it's not, we can't get in, we'll, we'll try again tomorrow. We'll go a little earlier in the day. So we just messed up and went too late. So we're at International Drive, right? Yeah, we're going to have some lunch. Uh, we're going to stop at the Black Angus Steakhouse. Never been there before. It is. That's a Black Angus, not Black Angus, but Black Angus Steakhouse. On International Drive, we've seen it advertised. So we figured, what the heck have we got to lose? What the heck have we got to lose? Let's go try out the Black Angus Steakhouse. So we'll take you for lunch there. And hopefully by the time we're done with lunch, Universal Studios will be able to admit us and we'll go try it. It looks like it's on the cusp of raining. So yeah, it, it does. if it rains, there may be people that leave and we may be able to yeah. get in. So. so we'll go do that. Let's see. And we'll try it out. But uh, So that's what's going on. So we're going to go have some lunch and then we'll go try. And if not, then we'll try again tomorrow. We'll give it a shot. So we'll see you on the inside of Black Angus Steakhouse here on in International Drive. And uh, it's hashtag Black Angus Orlando if you're interested. And there's our Black Angus. Black Angus is a type of cow, obviously, but it's just kind of fun to say. Now open, they're reopened. Nice outdoor seating area over here. Nice and cool today, too. It's only in the low 70s. It's beautiful out. And today we've got the soup of the day. It's chili and steak special. And fish is mucky mucky. Well, that's pretty cool, huh? We have a, a wagon here. This restaurant's a little empty. No problem. Empty is the way. A little empty in here. That's cool. The reception desk right there. Look at that chandelier. Look at that chandelier up there. How cool is that, huh? It is rather empty in here. And they have real paper menus. They do. All right. There's their menu. Let's take a look at what they have for lunch. Menu by Age Certified Angus Beef. Wow. That's good. There's their appetizers. The soup and salad. Early bird specials. We qualify right now, I think. 11 to 5. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Cheeseburger, chicken, and pizza. The children's menu. Signature Angus steaks. Feel free to pause this and watch it. And they have seafood and combination dinner. And they have pastas too, a little bit of everything. They're right on International Drive, just past Universal Studios. And how to prepare. A little shiny, how to, how to prepare your steaks. Alright, so we're gonna place your order and we'll show you, show you what our food looks like when it comes out. Well, the restaurant is uh, decorated very ornately. Train is cool. Yeah. We're here in the middle of the afternoon, so it's very slow in here right now. <laughs> I'm sure after five o'clock. Okay, so I got the Queen's chicken, and unfortunately, I dug into it. I started cutting it before I remember to film it. So this is uh, a roasted, a roasted, this is a pan-fried chicken breast with bacon mushrooms, uh, mozzarella cheese, and paprika, and I got seasoned steak fries with it. It's very good. You got a steak burger, which looks incredible. It's really big. It's a huge steak burger. All those toppings on it and stuff, that's yep. incredible. And the french fries are very good. They're, the they're big and they're good. very crispy. Yep. And I honestly did have a small Caesar salad with mine. I got an added on oh, Caesar. That's right. And you got an added on blue cheese salad. We ate those, so we forgot to film that. But that's, that's good. I think so far the food is excellent, so we're really uh, it's worth it. It's, you gotta go somewhere not on Universal or Disney property. Might as well go to Black Angus International Drive. It's worth stopping by. Yeah. Food is good and a friendly service. And it's not busy at all in the afternoon here. I bet tonight after the parks close and people I start coming back, crazy. I bet it gets really, really busy in here. So it was very good. It was very big. Very, very big. It was big. a huge burger. It was, it was. And the French fries are excellent. They had like a yeah. they had maybe a flour coating on them yeah. and then spices. It was good. I liked them. You didn't need to really yeah. A little ketchup, but they were in any spice. They had spice on them. They had a good flavor yeah. to them, yeah. They were very, very, and they were crispy. 
Like a uh, crispy yeah. ones. And I had the Mrs. Angus special chicken queen dinner, which was good. It was mushrooms and mozzarella and like paprika spices on top of that with bacon on chicken. It was really good. I liked it a lot. And french fries. You had any side you wanted with it. And I got a Caesar salad with it. Yeah. You got a house salad. And uh, we ate it, but they give you a nice pat of soft butter inside of the honey for the rolls yeah. they give you at the table, too. Mm, that's what going for. Yeah, so I'd say it's, uh, it was better good, right? Yeah. So it looks like Universal Studios is still at capacity. Oh, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to have to get up early and go. Yep. So we can get in. So since Universal is still at capacity, we're going to... <laughs> Can you get in there? No, let's no. do it. All right, so with Universal still at capacity, we're going to call it. And uh, we had a nice lunch out in International Drive. You know, International Drive is always known to be busy, uh, but during the day, it's not so bad. People are yeah. at the parks, so this is pretty calm, actually, and pretty quiet. It wasn't too bad getting here. But uh, all right, so if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Share us on social media. Hit that notification bell down below so you know when we post new videos. Try to put them up fairly regularly for you. But it's tough right now, so uh, with what's going on with the parks and the reservation system, but we'll do as best as we can to get you some regular videos. So that's it, folks. Take care of yourselves. Remember, and this place was Black Angus on International Drive, and the pricing was pretty decent. Not too bad for lunch. So, all right, folks, with that, remember, don't be average.